What's up everyone? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. So let's get into this conversation. I was trying to decide if I was going to talk about this because everyone's talking about it, but I wanted to just talk about it, not from an expert stance or being on anyone's side stance, but as someone who was a legal assistant for a little over 12 years and just looking at the situation that's going on right now that's being reported with this trial that's going on where Cardi B sued vlogger Tasha K from her channel Unwind at Unwind with Tasha K because she did several videos one of which the first video, I believe, I don't want to say the first video, but one of the main videos that really drew, I believe, Cardi B's ire was that Tasha K interviewed someone who said that she used to be Cardi B's friend and roommate who went by the name of Star Marie. And Star Marie made a number of allegations about Cardi B that were pretty much like, whoa. And it, it included her having the lump bump that we call you know that's formerly known as the h word and saying that she used to just keep a huge supply of feminine vaginal products and things like that and it was just a, a lot of things that this girl shared in this interview with tasha k and and not too long after that cardi b she just like went on a tirade on social media and said that she was going to be suing them and she did she filed a lawsuit against tasha k and she also filed a lawsuit against star marie now right now this trial that's moving forward it's only involving tasha k and her business star marie is not included in it anymore so i don't know if they came to some sort of settlement agreement and she dropped the lawsuit against star marie that's something that i don't know if that if that happened or not but i i did question like well whatever happened to her although this is tasha k's channel and tasha k definitely did several videos where she said you know a number of things about cardi b and not only her saying some things but invited other people onto her platform whether it was either by uh phone where she was recording the audio and and released it on the channel or whatever you that made some allegations about cardi b so i just think cardi b was just pretty much like i've had it up to here with her and i'm just going to i'm, I'm going to move forward and and file this lawsuit well cardi b she took the witness stand and she shared some things and she revealed that she was having thoughts of taking herself out after seeing the things that were posted by Tasha K and the lawsuit against Tasha K, you know, with it now being tried and tried in federal court in Georgia, Cardi B, she got emotional and she said that she felt defeated and depressed and didn't want to sleep with her husband. Now, I don't want to have a a long conversation about this i mean again there's so many people talking about it right now the trial is still moving forward there are a lot of people that are speculating that cardi b's got this in the bag there are a lot of people that are saying that you know cardi has nothing to worry about there's some people that are saying that tasha k she is going to lose and lose big here's what i i wanted to just talk about this I'm not saying that anything that Tasha K said was right and I'm not caping for her or for Cardi B, you know, um, but what I feel in this situation is that both of them are winning some things and, and both of them are losing some things because here's why I say that. Since this has happened, Tasha K's platform has exponentially increased whether you like the woman or not, she definitely gets the views. She has done a number of different interviews. She has her own platform right now with her app. I do believe that there are going to be, going to be people who will continue to support her in spite of what's going on and even after what is going on because at this point right now, she's made it to over 1 million subscribers on her YouTube channel. 
That's a huge feat. And some people may say, well, she used Cardi B to get there. Well, absolutely. I mean, she used a number of different people to get there, but that's normally what people do when you niche down to something or some things that you talk about instead of talking about every and anything, then it gets you what you are looking for and for her it was that continual audience of people who are going to continue to come back because they are giving she is giving them what they want and obviously there are a lot of people as many people who love cardi b there are obviously a lot of people who love to hate her as well so if Tasha K shares information that is extremely negative about Cardi B, then the people who hate Cardi B are going to gravitate to that platform, of course. And how, you know, Tasha definitely may be losing in this situation is because, I mean, yeah, she's winning in in terms of if you look at some people who say, well, good news or bad news, they're talking about me. So she's gotten onto a lot of major news platforms that are talking about this situation because she is in court right now with a major A-list celebrity rapper who is pretty much number one if you look at it you know in terms of the the female rappers who are in the the you know the music industry right now she is pretty much seen as number one or right next to it I don't want to say that she is the best rapper or the worst rapper it's it's whoever is into her music i'm not into that style of music so it's but i don't hate on it it's she's she's gained a lot of success and she's able to live a life that she didn't have to that she didn't have the opportunity to live before and she's gotten herself and her family out of what she used to be in she rolls from being a stripper to doing what she is doing now and even though a lot of her music may be seen as vulgar or you know just a, a, a lot of different things it is what it is it's there for who likes it so Tasha K is winning in those areas and she's not stopping it. I mean, she's, she's not stopping. And also Cardi is winning right now because she, she's someone that even with through this situation, she would continue to showcase herself. She's been living her life. She's been, she had another child with her husband. She is still living and moving and breathing and being you know who she is in spite of the allegations that came out through Tasha K and her vlog about her but also right now with her testifying in court she's being seen a little bit more human by those who may not have really felt much for her before because they may have felt like she was just oh she's just another you know another female rapper who who you know raps about sex and and that's it and she's not talented and she's not this and she's not that but for some people I can guarantee you who may not have even really cared for her before to read her testimony and hear that she broke down on the stand and was crying and and saying that she felt depressed and, and all of these different things it it humanizes her in a way to those who felt like she was just some you know someone who was always going viral for being negative on social media I mean it's it's out there some of the things that she has said about about people and and things that she has said and done it's 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 said and done literally so for those who had her in a negative viewpoint some of them may see her in a more human way and it has humanized her a little bit because Let's be honest, even though she is an A-list celebrity rapper, she is a human being. And granted, she may be, what, I believe she's 29 right now. She's still pretty young. And to be catapulted to from where she was to where she is now, that can't be easy for anyone. I cannot imagine male, female, that cannot be easy for anyone. So just that alone the pressures of being a wife, a mother, having, you know, children in the spotlight, pretty much having to be, because that's how she presented herself to be provocative and to sing about these different things and, 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 you know, rap about these different things, sexual things and all of the different things that she is doing and having to always be, you know, 
seen at her best, looking her best, dressing the best, posing, and all that stuff is just not real. It's, it's a persona. This humanizes her in a way to some who have not really seen her as a human being. And for those who really cape for Tasha K and the things that she has said and shared about Cardi B or even any other you know, person that she may talk about on her platform, it could really break that stony heart of people who just feel like, oh, well, she can take it. She's rich. She's a celebrity. Who cares? They have feelings too. They're people. They're people. She's a person and a young person at that, you know? And so I couldn't imagine being in that position and always having the scrutiny of people looking at me, talking about me, whether it's good or bad, because even the Bible talks about that. Beware when men speak so highly of you. You can't even always feel comfortable when people are speaking great things about you, because as soon as they will build you up, the quicker they will tear you down. So I know that pressure has to be there as well with the position that she is in so to be in a position where you are still learning still moving still trying to get to know who you are in this position of being the celebrity and to have someone who is saying things about you that you say are not true saying that you have venereal diseases and and this person that came out and did this interview that said she used to be your roommate and friend and was saying all sharing all these personal details about you it's like why why would you go out even if the stuff was true which she says it's not even if it were true why would someone be so evil that said they were my friend at some point and even if we had a falling out even if i did something to you why would you go out in public and share things like this about me like what motivates somebody to do something like that and honestly all i can say is it's pretty evil for anyone who claimed to be someone's friend at some point and then to go out there and spill all of this information again whether it was true or not true it just really shows who you are more than the person that you are talking about and you reap what you sow you reap what you sow but how they may both be losing in the situation because again the trial is still going forward we don't know what the outcome is going to be all we can do is speculate at this point the way tasha k may lose is it it's possible that she may have to pay a hefty sum she may have to come out of pocket and and pay you know i think they said about 75 grand and she says she's doing well, so maybe that's not a whole lot of money to her. But even if you have a lot of money, who really wants to pay that? And then not only that, she's losing right now because I always say when you are taking someone to court, even if you win a judgment, even if it's a judgment that you can collect on, the only guaranteed winner is the attorney because they're going to get their money regardless. So she's having to pay these attorneys their hourly rates and the retainer fees and all of those different things. So there she's losing. She's already lost there because I'm sorry, I I still don't understand why she didn't settle this um, case. I know initially after Cardi B sued her, she countersued against Cardi B, but that suit was thrown out that was tossed out so she wasn't able to collect anything there so that may have been her intentions in the beginning to not settle because she was countersuing but after she had the countersuit tossed out i still was trying to understand well why why wouldn't she just settle but i believe she saw it as a win because they didn't have an injunction for her to take her content down in the meantime so she's still getting views and still able to make money off of that so in that sense she's winning because even all up through this time even while she is in court and in this lawsuit as a defendant with cardi b Again, it's drawing more attention to her and her platform and people are going to go and watch it just because even, you know, for those who don't know about her, didn't know anything about the content, it's still up, still available. So those people are going to be able to go to it and view it and watch it and, and, and take it and decide whether they believe, you know, that Tasha K is worthy to have this platform or not, or they don't like Cardi B and they believe the person or the, you know, the information that was shared. It's, you know, 
people have the right to believe what they want to believe whether it's true or not people are going to believe what they want to believe and we do know that most people they gravitate to the dark they gravitate to the dirty the grimy the salacious the gossip like that's just really what it is most things that are positive don't really get a whole lot of traction most things and that's just the world that we live in because we live in a really dark world the world is dark the world is dark so that's why a lot of that stuff really gets the light of a viewership but in you know like I said in the sense of her losing Tasha K again her attorneys are really winning so she's losing in that sense as well as if the judgment comes down and they have an injunction against her platform and she has to take down that content or maybe even worse take down the channel and start over that's a loss again I'm not saying that that's going to happen but I don't know and then going to Cardi B a way that she could be losing is the fact that okay she's suing Tasha K for defamation and I believe emotional distress and and you know those um, different arenas like that that those different things but just because Cardi B got on the stand and is crying and saying this on the stand that it caused her to be in a depression it caused her to not you know want to be physical um, with her husband and and, and those different things like that. Not saying it's not true, not saying she didn't really feel that way, but I'm saying, does she have actual proof of that? Was she seeking counseling? Does she have counseling records? Does she have a therapist or a psychologist or a, a um, psychiatrist as a witness that she was seeing because of these different things? Does Tasha K have proof that even though she's saying these different things, what we saw of her on, on social media didn't really look like I affected her in any way. I'm just saying, again, I'm not saying I'm on either side. I'm just saying in terms of what is being displayed versus what is being said. What is the real? What is the actuality? It's possible that the jury may say, well, you know, you may be saying these things or have said these things on the stand, but based on the conduct of how you were you know acting and performing and living your best life it didn't really look like it affected you much so i don't really know if we can say that you were e traumatized or you had emotional distress yeah we may be able to prove that you don't have what she said that you had but i'm not really sure if they're going to find tasha k guilty on all of those fronts and again, Cardi B, Cardi B is the one that brought the lawsuit. So as the plaintiff, the burden of proof is really on Cardi B. It's not on Tasha K. It's not like a criminal trial. So there doesn't have to be a whole lot that she has to bring up in order to prove her case. You know, with a, with a civil case, it's the preponderance of the evidence versus with a criminal case, it is beyond a reasonable doubt so again it again it's not that it's not that hard for a jury to find Tasha K in the wrong and her platform and her business and find her guilty but what will be the actual outcome but in the way that Cardi B conducted herself in public and I know she's a public figure so there's a lot of things that she has to do and she has to perform and she has to put on for the people because of her role but again if it really affected her in a negative way did she really display that in public not just you know to her friends or her husband or even to you know a therapist now i would believe that it would be absolutely important for her to prove it and say that she was seeking therapy and she was seeking counseling because she was having like she said suicidal thoughts that is major that is major and I, I would believe it. I'm not saying I don't believe her. I'm just saying that in a court of law, you do have to prove your case, but it is a civil case again. So it's the preponderance of the evidence. It's not a criminal case where it's beyond a reasonable doubt, but is she really proving it versus just being emotional on the stand and saying, because she said these things X, Y, and Z happened to me, or I went through A, B, and C you you do have to show some sort of proof and maybe she is doing that maybe it's coming up to that the trial is still moving forward it's not done yet but 
I just wanted to talk about it from that perspective because I know that there are a lot of people who love Cardi B and I know there are a lot of people that hate Cardi B and I know there are a lot of people that love and hate Tasha K. I am indifferent to it all because I don't know any of them. (laughs) I'm just talking about it from the stance of this court case and what has transpired thus far and how they both, in my viewpoint, based on what has been shared thus far, could be winning and could be losing now i don't wish any harm for any of them honestly i i would have love for them to just settle this situation and you can be in the midst of a trial and settle you can it's not too late it's never too it's really never too late because it will save billable hours for the attorney It's really in Tasha K's, in my opinion, best interest to settle. But if the plaintiff is unwilling to settle or if they can't come to some sort of agreement, then that's, you know, that's where we are. But again, like I said, they can be in trial and settle. I was a legal assistant and saw it on many occasions. They would get up to the point of sometimes just at the courthouse door (laughs) and and they had to inform the judge that the case um, was settled. And the judge doesn't really care. The judge doesn't, you know, say, well, you know what? I've already blocked out my time. So we're going to go through, we're going to go through with this trial because it, it's too late. No, you can settle at any time. It, it's not too late because it's a civil case. It's not criminal. No one's going to jail. Tasha K isn't going to jail because of her saying the things that she said about, you know, Cardi B. And I know some people would probably love to see her behind bars because they cannot stand, (laughs) they cannot stand her, but it's not criminal. It's a civil case and she seems to be doing well. So we shall see. And again, Cardi B is doing amazing as well. So they both, in my opinion, based on what we see, they're both winning, but they both are losing some things as well. So we'll see what continues as this case moves forward. But I just wanted to talk about it from that perspective, just being beautifully honest about it. So you guys let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until the next time, I'm just being beautifully honest.